business scenario walkthrough oracle i receivables customer business process flow so here i'm gonna go and show you the invoicing details and the associated details such as payment details via oracle i receivables which is a customer facing module wherein the customer can track that information so i'm going to minimize this and then I'm going to go back to Oracle Applications. We need to come out of this form and this user and we'll log in as the customer's user. If you remember which was the user that I've used, just Josh Hutchison, right? So log out of this and then we'll log in as Josh Hutchison, give the password and then navigate to iReceivables user using this responsibility i receivables external vision operations and then go to customer access depending on what bill to address you have given you've got to choose that bill to address over here if you don't know the bill to address then you can directly go and look for the total account summary at the customer level i know the bill to address that we have given was this one hence i will go to that particular bill to address related details and then I will look for the invoice so if I go to account here I would be able to see the transactions so you can see that this is the transaction that was processed against this particular order so if you click on this particular transaction, it will show you the details of the invoice that got generated against this order. And this is totally the customer's view. If you would like to print this invoice, you can click this button called as printable page and then print it on to a printer attached to your computer. For some reason it wasn't coming but don't worry about it. it could be something missing in the browser because i'm using a older version of the browser if i use the latest mozilla it's going to show okay and then the other things i would like to show you was you can export this particular invoice so if you click on export it's going to export it into an excel file like this and it'll open over here the invoice details okay then we'll go back and now assuming that if you have got a dispute in relation to this particular invoice you can raise those dispute via this particular button disputes let's say a simple example is the company has promised you 10 percent discount the salesperson said while you were talking to him he said that okay we're going to give you 10 percent discount but he forgot to give you so you can raise a dispute over here and in the description you can say that a particular reason which is over here from the list of values and then you can choose the invoice selection and then you can submit your dispute. I'm going to show you more about the disputes process as we go along in this particular course then you've got something called as activities so any activities that have happened pertaining to this particular invoice will be shown under this form so if at all you have already raised a dispute then what is the status of that dispute if you have made a payment then it will show you here and if the dispute has been processed and a credit memo applied then it will also be shown over here okay so that's what is the place in the form for activities then the second one is pay so this button pay lets you pay the invoice immediately via the payment methods that you have already defined if you haven't defined the payment methods previously then you can define one new payment type on the fly as long as you have been given that functionality 
So you can see that the payment method is previously defined or you can define a new one on the fly okay and make a payment so I'm gonna cancel this and come back and lastly you've got apply credit button using which you can apply the credit from the other credit memos that you have it on account of your customer so the standard functionality is that once a credit memo have been approved against the dispute that you have raised pertaining to this invoice will be applied automatically but there could be credit memo which are lying on account that you may want to apply it using this particular button it will open a form wherein you can apply the credit memos to this particular invoice okay again that is something I'm gonna show you in more details as we go along plus the entire functionality of this workbench, the associated setups, the users involved, and the end-to-end -end process flow of I receivables is something I have demonstrated in my course in release 12 I Oracle I receivables fundamentals. So feel free to take if you like. Anyway, I'm gonna cancel this and then I'm gonna come back. And likewise, you can see if there were those disputes which are raised over here you can see them at the home page as well so if you go back to home page there you can see the pending credit request they are coming from nothing but the disputes so if you click on disputes it's gonna show you the details of those requested amounts which are nothing but requests for credits you can also see the aging of your overdue invoicing as long as you have defined the aging packets in your receivables setup and attached those aging packets setup in your customer definition. So many more functionalities that are there in IA receivables and I'm going to show you all that as a part of my release 12i Oracle I receivables fundamentals course.